The second part of this tutorial, we're going to design a custom tag for the access door. In order to do that, we're going to have to go into the library icon on the Practicad ribbon. Now before you watch the rest of this video, make sure that you already have watched the entire video tutorial titled how to create custom tags. We're going to create a custom tag and all of the choices, parameters, options are covered in those videos. Here we're just going to design a custom tag quickly. We're going to basically open up our browser. We're going to go over to documentation, open up tags. We're going to go to custom. We're going to click on the word custom. We're going to create a new tag. We need to select the BMP image for the tag. We're going to press open. Practicad is going to ask us to name the tag. We're just going to call it PCAD AD. We're going to hit enter. This way the name is accepted. And now what we're going to do is just going to build our tag. We know we're going to want to follow the textile standard for this tutorial. So we're going to put in the textile. We're going to leave it center aligned. We're going to say we don't want a leader. We're going to close it down to just one field. Field 1A, we're going to basically put in all of our expression. Here we're just going to copy and paste it from another area, but there are tutorials on how to build the expression. And we're essentially just building our custom tag. And we want to make sure that all the parameters here are exactly as we want them. So to make sure before you go further, create your tag for the access door, whatever entity you're trying to create, save it, and then drag it into your bin and test it out once before you move forward. So what we're going to do is exit out. We're going to put this in top view. And we're just going to run this tag by going into the tag bin, grabbing the tag, clicking on the access door, and taking a look at what it looks like. And this says 12 by 12 AD, and that's exactly what we want. So we have now designed a custom tag that we can use on our access doors. The next step is going to be to create an automatic with this custom tag. 